Hello everyone, Silent here, and welcome back to another Truly Bedrock live stream here on Twitch. How are you guys doing tonight? Welcome, welcome! We got many peoples in the chat. We got Panda King of Ooh, ooh, ooh The Beard Boss Randuso, uh, Butterfly Girl, Legends, Hannyburger, Lucky Darth, John John, JPH, The Strategist, Luke, Echo Stream, Exciting Mage, Burning Paper Giant, and In Games, Legends again, Minus Acrobat, uh, we got D's, Echo Stream, Cluffies, or Clofries, or something like that. Clofries? Clofries. Yeah, Clofries. I might have said it right that time. I have no idea. <laughs> we got Greeny, Corrupt Country, Milk Dud, Ult, Pigo, I'm a Cat, Kazmul, Hubby, Drax Boy, Cyber, Octoling, uh, Miroku, Spike, Skeech, and a few other names that I cannot pronounce, so I'm not even going to try. We got Neo, Silent Fox, and a few others as well. Welcome, absolutely, everybody. Hope you guys are doing great tonight. Let's turn on the game, shall we? We got stuff to do. As always, many, many, many things to do. <laughs> we got Kano, or Kano, subscribing for two months. Hope you're doing good. I got it right. Yay! I got a name right. It took me 70 streams, but hi, Clofies. Clove freeze. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it ever again correctly, uh, just to spite you, because you know that's how we do things. That's how we do things. You get one correct saying of your name, and you must cherish that moment for the rest of your life, because that's literally all you're gonna get. This is quite the good mob farm, isn't it? Lots and lots of mobs at all times, in all the wrong places, and they're all terrible. Did I mention that they all want to kill me? 100 days of TB. We're getting there. We got 90 live streams under our belt now. This is our 90th Truly Bedrock live stream. 90! That's a few. <laughs> Never gotten your name wrong. Or so you think. <laughs> How I'm pronouncing it isn't actually the correct way of pronouncing it. It might be news to you, but you're not pronouncing your own name correctly. Some people legitimately think of that as well. Like, Silent, you're not pronouncing your own name correctly. Silent, oh my god, I can't believe you misspelled your name. Like, dude, there's not supposed to be an H in my name. Also, if you never realize there's no H in my name. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. There ain't no H in that name. Ain't no H in that name. No H is allowed. H's are bad. I hate H's. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna start off by doing a little bit of work on the kelp farm today. Also, I know I'm supposed to add more emotes. I'm sorry. I, I've not added them yet. I, I'm a bad pigo. I'm sorry. It's just, yeah, bad pigo. Feel free to slap me in the Discord. <laughs> what else is the slap command gonna be good for? <laughs> Anyway, so we are lowering down the water of the kelp farm. We should check out the northern kelp farm first. So, if you remember, we built this a couple live streams ago. And you'll see that the water is two blocks above the ocean level, which doesn't really make any sense when the guardian farm itself is sunk down into the ocean. So, that's, uh, that's what we're going to be doing with the kelp farms. We're basically going to lower down the entire item collection at least two blocks. <laughs> please, gun. Please don't. <laughs> Just now. Just now. We want emotes. I know you want emotes! Emotes shall be added at one time or another. But not today. And possibly not tomorrow. Is this my server? Uh, no, it's our. It's a group server. So Truly Bedrock is a group of content creators. And we all do YouTube videos and most of us live stream. And there's like 12 or 13 of us. I don't know. I lose count all the time. But yeah, we all play on the Bedrock Edition. We all make YouTube videos. Think of a uh, Legacy SMP or a Hermitcraft or a Minecraft or a Decidedly Vanilla. Anything like that. Basically what we do. But on Bedrock Edition. Oh. <laughs> Have a good night, Last Milk. Thanks for stopping by the stream. So basically, my plan for this is we're going to put in the stone floor again, and then we're going to sponge it out again, and then we're going to lower down the, the water streams and build those again. 
and then we're gonna go rebuild the iron farm again. <laughs> this base is just nothing but rebuild what you already built because nothing works the first try because pain and suffering and I don't deserve nice things. That's, uh, that's what I'm learning about this base. Am I excited to have a proper base this season? I would like if I didn't have to rebuild it four times. You know how much more stuff we would have done if I didn't have to rebuild all this? But I guess it's kind of my own fault for just jumping into things. But I'm still going to blame it on Bedrock Edition. <laughs> Silent and Nutshell, again, yeah, basically. <laughs> what other farms are we going to build on the base? Many, 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 many. Uh, keep your eyes out for tomorrow's episode of Truly Bedrock. I need to get that recorded and finish up tonight. I spent a lot of time... Oh, I did fix one of the iron farms, actually. The northern iron farm now works and is proper. Uh, we will have to rebuild the village of the uh, western iron farm. So that won't take too long. It'll be maybe like a 15-minute project to redo the village. Uh, basically, we just got to destroy the workstations, destroy the beds, uh, make them unlink, log out of the game, log back in, rebuild the village, get the center of the village to be proper. It, sh it shouldn't be too big of a deal. I tried to fix it, but it still doesn't work from our AFK spot. So now three out of four of them work, which is very good. Uh, if we head up to the Northern Iron Farm, you'll see that we are doing quite well on iron in that one. We also have like over nine stacks of iron blocks now. Look at this, many, many iron. So we're doing good on that front. And yeah, see this has got golems in it already. Oh, I can't. Yeah, see, it's got plenty of iron in it. It's got like nine stacks. The other ones also are getting golems, of course. So, three out of four are now working. Massive, massive amounts of success. Really quite happy about that. Look at this. There's literally a golem in every single one of these. Oops. Yeah, well, you know it's got iron in it. Uh, the center of the village is too far away from the AFK spot. So, if I'm up here closer to the iron farm... It will work just fine, but the center of the village is just simply too far away. If I move it closer to this edge of the farm, then I can activate the farm from down there. Uh, but currently, like, the center of the village is back over on the back side of the farm, so I can't do it. Also, I got Silent 2 on the server, in case you didn't notice. Uh, this dude is hanging out, being a chill dude. Look at him, just chilling over there. Being a maniac. How long have we been live tonight? Oh, we've been live for like 10 minutes. <laughs> we just got started. Where am I from and where do I live? I'm from the place I belong. And I'm going down some old town roads. It's only two song lyrics I know. So you just got to deal with it. Is this actually working? This is kind of working, even though it seems like I should be falling off of this. It's kind of working. It's working! <laughs> Explodes. Yeah, villagers make us suffer a lot, so we gotta make them suffer at least a little bit. Oh, you weren't leaving? You were just saying, have a good night? Oh, I see. Well, typically when people say, have a good night or evening, they're like, they're leaving. They're saying the goodbyes. So, mind my confusion. <laughs> Villagers are trade machines. They're workhorses. That's all they are. They got a variety of different usages. And they don't want to do literally anything. If they had a choice, they would all be nitwits. But they know that we would just kill them if they were nitwits. So, they begrudgingly accept jobs. Simply in the vain hope of staying alive longer. Because that is just the sad, sad reality of being a villager. They can only speak in hmms. And it's just great like that. Don't be like a villager. Villagers are bad. Sweet home Alabama, yeah. <laughs> only song I know. We could do that for our next batch of uh, naming items. If you guys remember a couple live streams ago, we kind of basically did literally every single possible Rickroll Rerick. Rickroll Rerick. So, if we did, like, some other really cringe song, 
Like, uh, you know, West Virginia or uh, <laughs> Sweet Home Alabama or I don't know, Country Roads. I don't, any of those would be perfect for a meme song for, for renaming items. It would be great. We might also do a little bit of decoration tonight. We left off last live stream decorating some of the spiral pillars underneath the monument. That was kind of fun. We might revisit that tonight as well. Do all star. That would be a good one too. Maybe we'll do a poll. We might do a poll just to see what you guys want. What do you want from me? It's really up to you. Baby shark. <laughs> No, please no. No. <laughs> okay, let's do a poll, shall we? Meow Mix lyrics. Does Meow Mix have lyrics? Uh, Old Town Roads. Country. Oh, wait, no. West Virginia. West Virginia. I don't know how to spell that word. It's fine. It's just going to stay as... Yeah. Uh, let's see. All star. <laughs> I'm not going to put baby shark on here because I know it's going to happen. <laughs> okay, there you go. So you guys can vote on that for the next couple of minutes. <laughs> And whichever one wins that will be the next batch of meme song lyrics that we do for named items. We didn't intend to have this be a thing. You guys were just all like, yeah, we're doing Rickroll names on absolutely everything. Like, all of my things are Rickroll names. I'm gonna pick Ashley the second, the third, the first. We got Pig Step, never gonna pull you down. You know the rules, it's time. And never gonna let you drown. Like, all of our stuff is just Rickroll. <laughs> the duck song hey you got any grapes <laughs> no I don't I sell lemonade alright anything but Old Town Road <laughs> okay good All Star is actually winning with 65% I didn't expect that but that's a good song too you know that's Hank and John Green's favorite song It's all right. I mean, it was in Shrek, therefore it has to be good, right? I gotta rewatch Shrek. My family wants to rewatch Shrek for some odd reason, therefore I must rewatch Shrek. You're still proud of Get to the Chopper? Yeah, that's my favorite axe too. <laughs> I think that's definitely my favorite name out of all the tools. Get to the Chopper. <laughs> I love the Arnold. It's gonna be such a sad day in the universe when he decides to leave this eternal plane. He's not allowed to. Barbie doll. Oh, yeah, we can do Barbie. Yeah. I'm a Barbie in a Barbie world. It's kind of not an appropriate song, though. Kind of not. Kind of not appropriate. It's got a lot of phrasing. I don't know, I like Donkey. Donkey's definitely the best. And you know it's true. Hey, you know what? We got Haste too. These are actually pretty quick to mine. But then again, they can be quicker. Yo, Soylent, what's up? You're running out of ways to say hi. This is what I get today. Okay, that's fine. Sup? How you doing? What you up to? <laughs> Uh, okay, so that is all of those things filled in. We're gonna go grab some full stone blocks. Uh, not like these slabs. And we're going to block off of this middle area. That's a lot of mobs, isn't it? Oops, falling down. Don't want to fall down over here. You know, I'm just gonna fly up there. Woo! More airplane sounds. I tell you, I make a lot of airplane sounds. And they're really darn good airplane sounds, too. You know it's true. Best airplane sounds on Twitch. 
all those flight simulators. Man, they're so jelly. <laughs> uh, all Star won with 62% of the vote. Very nice. Let's open up that naming item. You guys can get started on uh, naming some lyrics. It is now un. <laughs> Airplane sound ASMR, please. <laughs> <laughs> also, hi, Drav. How you doing? Glad to see you again. <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. I hate it. I love it. I hate it, but I love it. But I also kind of wanted to burn with fire. So basically, my relationship with Silent 2. <laughs> Why is Silent 2 in a... Uh... Oh, he's in third person. So his camera's behind my cape. So if I crouch... Uh... I'm just like right, right in his, right in his camera. Rude. <laughs> You've been told you make a great attack chopper sounds. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. What am I up here for? I'm, I'm here to literally do anything at all productive, and you guys are just like airplane sound ASMR. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't live stream. I should be banned. Like I should not be able to do this. Why does why why did Twitch make me partner? Like we don't we don't we don't bring anything to the we don't bring anything to the table. <laughs> I think in fact we're we're unevolving. <laughs> we're evolving backwards. Uh, Deez, thank you so much for subscribing tier one. That's very nice of you. I hope you're doing great. Also, we got a bunch of new followers. So thank you to Caden, Cormac, Tim, Tommy, Fanboy, Duilu, uh, the fish catch the fish catcher, Exilers. XD, thank you all so much for the follows. Welcome to the Soilets, everybody. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic tonight. Also, by the way, if you are enjoying the live streams, drop a follow is the best way to support the channel. It's also the best way to probably, possibly get notified of uh, when we start live streaming next. That way you don't miss future live streams. And also, you can sign up for the stream regular role in the Discord server too, but that is kind of an additional thing. Uh, that you may or may not be interested in if you're already in the discord server if you're not in the discord server join the discord Yeah, that's my beautiful shameless self-promotion You know, it's the most compelling same shameless promotion you've ever heard in your life Oh my we got so many so many things happening uh, the stream might be a little bit laggy, but there's not that much lag in game. I haven't really noticed any tonight. Okay, let's see. Can I do this? Do like that? That'll work, actually. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay. Fish, get out of my way. I don't like you. Oh, God. Now we... Oh, God. I look away for half a second, and then the chat just explodes. Uh, please don't spam the quotes. But also, thank you everyone so much for all the gifted subs. We got gifted subs from Casper, five of them, to D Button, Zug. Hey, Zug. We got Meow's Cat, Grumpy Ref, uh, Regnarson, No Dawn. I, yeah, I butchered that one. Sorry. We also got the Posh Orc with a sub as well. Thank you so much. Make sure to show some love for Casper in the chat. And thank you, Katie, for gifting a sub to Grumpy, too. That's very nice of you. Many, many, many gifted subs. At the rate that you guys are going with the gifted subs, uh, we might reach 400 channel points or subscriber points. At which point we'll unlock even more emotes because that's what we should be trusted with. We should definitely be trusted with the power of more emotes. <laughs> can I just place one in the middle? Oh, I kind of can, but not really. Uh, we're gonna go smelt all these down, and I'm gonna go take a nap. Yeah, we already got a hype train. It's already level three. Oh my god. Train with the hype. It's time. <laughs> this is where trains come to die. They just get they just get bombarded with too much hype. How many subs do we currently have? Uh, we have. 356 subscribers, my god. I think that's about the most that we've ever had. You guys have been gifting so many subs. <laughs> uh, but we got 364 sub points. So a tier one sub is one point, a tier two sub is two, a tier three is three points. 
And they unlock emotes based on your sub points. Because, you know, reasons. So, we have a couple tier 2s and like one tier 3 for some reason. I don't know why you guys do the tier 2s and 3s. They, they really don't make a, make a sense from the financial standpoint. For me or for you. Um, but it's a thing that exists. We also got 100 biddies from Herbert. Thank you so much for the biddies. We also got a biddy from Leroy Jenkins. Hype train is going off the tracks. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I going to watch the Super Bowl? No, I'm not really into sports. I don't really do the sport things. Can't we dry sponges in the nether? Yeah, but ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay then, so that's that side cleared out. Uh, what we want to do is we want to remove this layer of blocks. I believe. Uh, actually, no, no, we're gonna put those back. We will unleash the water a little bit later on. After we lower down the ice streams and stuff. What is this mess right here? This is just a mess. Just get rid of all that. Don't, don't need any of that. Okay, one sponge in the middle. That's not good enough. Mm, one sponge right there though? That's not good enough either. Basically, you need two sponges directly down the middle. Oh, but even that's not good enough because you got to put them like a block apart. Oh my god, so annoying. Sponges! Bane of my existence. Uh, thank you, Colton, for resubscribing tier 2 for three months. See? <laughs> uh, we also got zero with 5,000 biddies. Oh my. Anna and a crab brave. You guys are too nice tonight. Many, many PC upgrades will be had with this. <laughs> Hi, Zero. How you doing as well? Uh, that takes us to a level 5 hype train, basically. You guys are ridiculous. I'm just placing down some sponges, and you're like, Take my money! Okay, well, we're out of sponges. So that was fun while it lasted. We also got Katie with 90 biddies, so thank you so much for the bits. Is Sandalos happening? This is not- it's just chaos. You guys just like to watch the word burn, the world burn, don't you? <laughs> and Sloth Lives Matter resubscribing with their Prime for seven months? Oh my. Illuminati sounds. <laughs> oh man. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much everyone. Casper for another 5,000 biddies. Oh my. We need a 200% hype train. You just took it to 269, 270. It was nearly perfect. It was nearly nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. Man, you guys are crazy. You already broke the, uh, the counters. You know, the stream counters. You already broke that a little bit. Just a little bit broken. Did I miss any notifications? I didn't. That's good. I don't want to miss any notifications. 270% hype train. Y'all need to chill out, you know? It's only supposed to go to a hundred. <laughs> guys are overloading the hype train. This is what I mean. Like hype trains like think that they're all cool and powerful and then they come here and then they just die and they get overloaded. It's too much hype. They can't handle it. <laughs> should we run a poll to see if we should remove 1% from the hype train just to make it 269? Ah, uh, never mind. Minus comes in and just puts it to 350. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Minus, for gifting five subs as well to Convict Jam, Luke S, Shred B Cooper, Jam Barry, and Ariu. Enjoy your gift of subs, everyone. Make sure to show many, many loves for the guys in the chats. They deserve many, many, many loves. Boop. <laughs> uh. Crazy nonsense. I don't even know what to say anymore. It's just like, yeah, thanks guys. It doesn't cut it though. It doesn't cut it. 
Nothing ever does. It's crazy. Oh god, and then Sire's coming in too with another 5 gifted subs. That takes us to 430% or something crazy. I can't even keep track anymore. What, what are you guys? Did you just, yeah, yeah, stop it. I need to ban y'all from like cheering and stuff. <laughs> uh, we got gifted subs too. Skeech, Viro, Porpoise. Ooh, it's Porpoise. Uh, we got Dubby, Dynamite, Zack, and KKY, MCB. However, you're supposed to pronounce that name. I have no idea. But it's a name that is now has a sub attached to it. <laughs> Enjoy and get to subs, everyone. We got Zap with 100 buddies too. Hello. What's with all the buttons? So the buttons prevent the water from flowing where they shouldn't. And that makes it so that all the items can go into the collection system properly. Whereas without the buttons, they would just kind of like not. Oh my, uh, so two gift sub bombs in a row. Colton is gifting five tier one subs and Minus is gifting five tier ones and they're all mixed together into one big batch of crazy sub bomb. Uh, KJ, Silent Fox, Cyril XP, Dots, Plots, Joseph, Bill Brasky, Leland, Night Owl, Building, Kanta, 9874233456788723445 and Cool Train with the gifted subs. Enjoy your gifted subs, everyone. That's so many damn subs. <laughs> oh my. That's crazy. <laughs> and there goes the hype train. I don't know what the hype train ended at because there's a pole in front of it. Oh my, that what what percent hype train was that? Was anybody, did anybody see what it was ended at? 31 subs and 10,000 bits. Jesus. You guys are insane. 610%. <laughs> well, I think that's a new record. Uh, the other day, we hit like, what, 540 or something? Yeah, we hit like 540. That was a, that was a good record for them, too. But then you guys went ahead and blew it out of the water. Many, many, many hypes. <laughs> Too much. Closer to 650. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I don't even know what pool we got going right now. What would you guys decide to run? Uh, what's the real meme song that you want for names? All Star, Baby Shark, Bohemian Rhapsody. That's a good one too. The Wellerman. Oh, Wellerman would be good too. Rasputin. You guys didn't vote for Wellerman? I don't know if I can say that you're fans anymore. Sea shanties are like the best. Wellerman's pretty good. And something that you guys don't know about me is like, I collected every single sea shanty in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Like, I'm a pirate fan. It takes effort to like collect every single sea shanty. And that's something I did. Not for the achievement, just for like the history of the pirates. I didn't listen to him though. <laughs> You just watched the clip. Oh god, it's 653%. Yeah, that's 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 a hype train for you. Made it to a level seven. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Like level 15 right there. Look at Levi. No. He has to ping me before I look at him. <laughs> Sea shanties are awesome. I'm glad you respect the sea shanty. Sea shanties are great. They are fantabulous in every way. Like, they got style to them. It's not every day that you can just bust out a sea shanty. Because like, it takes, like, it takes a certain mood. You gotta be in a mood for a sea shanty. And if you're not in the mood for a sea shanty, play one anyway, because then you'll be in the mood for a sea shanty. Like, just play the sea shanty. You won't regret it. Play a sea shanty. What farm are we working on tonight? Basically, we're rebuilding all the farms that we've already built. <laughs> are we surprised? No, no, we're not. 
Oh, actually, the, uh, the ice needs to be at the lower layer, doesn't it? Oopsie. Guess we're gonna rebuild what we rebuilt. Also, uh, we're, we're, we're swapping out all of the light blue glass for the um, cyan, because that's what we used for the guardian farm. And it's gonna make it all feel better. I'm not surprised at all. Yeah, basically. Wellerman won with 50% of the vote. Yeah, there you go. Sire contributing a thousand biddies and fully contributing 2100 channel points. Oh my god. Yeah, see, that's that's what I want to see. We need to get some uh, some Wellerman up in here. <laughs> I actually really like that song. I didn't realize it was a new song from like a TikToker or whatever. Like a, I don't know, somebody. Somebody just made that song up and it's like really, really good. I mean, we can do both at once. If you want to name items for All Stars and Wellerman, go for it. If I have any realms you can join, yes, we do. Check out uh, the Discord server. We got three fan servers in our community and we're about to be launching more this year. You feel accomplished now. You're very accomplished. It is from TikTok. TikTok only allows like what? A minute long videos or maybe three minutes long now? I guess that makes sense. It's kind of hard to do like, you know, certain things when you only got a minute. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if you guys saw the recent YouTube uh, poll post, but I am thinking about making some shorts actually. I wanted to make some shorts for some of the existing builds that we have on the channel and maybe some of the future builds, uh, maybe some some little tutorials or something. I don't know. There's different ways that we can kind of pull it off. I think it could be a good way to showcase fixes for broken farms and it could be a good way of showcasing existing farms as well. There's different ways to pull it off. Also, no, we no longer use any realms, uh, but you can connect to our fan servers from any Bedrock Edition platform. So don't worry about it. Realms are trash. We don't use those anymore. <laughs> Sorry, I had to be. I had to be blunt. Had to be blunt. They simply cannot handle our power. Our power is too much for the realms. Did we smelt down the sponges? No, we gotta go smelt down more sponges. Shield your ears, corner heart. <laughs> Is he in the chat? Oh no. <laughs> uh, no he's not, okay. I love you, corner. But like, yeah. <laughs> he is, okay, good. Watch, someone's gonna clip this and send it to him. <laughs> Especially now that I mentioned that you guys can clip this and send it to him. But it's fine. Corner knows I love him. Name a netherite block. Oh no. Also, we've officially moved away from the the Rick Roll lyrics. You gotta either do Wellerman or All Star. Those are the new rules for naming items on stream. It's either Wellerman or it's All-Star. So, choose your battles. Choose your your lyrics properly. But yeah, we're gonna reject your flaming, your flaming name and item. Uh, let's go take a sleep, shall we? Ooh, there's a creeper over there. Oh, I actually shot the creeper, nice. Uh, you need to die, you need to die, you need to die. Uh, you need to die. You need to die too. You can die as well. You can die. I just want to sleep. Not you're still not dead. Cool. Kill you. Shoot the guy over there as well. It's literally a very good mob farm. Whoop. Look how many mobs are down there. There's like uh, seven mobs just within my eyesight. Eight. 
and we already killed like five. It's great. It's terrible. You don't know either of those. Oh, go look up the lyrics. There is a Google. We has the Google. Do I have any coal? Oh, I do actually. Look at that. Nine coal ore. <laughs> because random. Hello, Bearded. How you doing? Mm, okay. Well, I guess that's going to be... Let's get these into two furnaces, actually. And back to it. Do we have enough? No, we need some more cyan glass. Uh, 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 light blue. Uh, hmm. Okay, we're going to have to go smell some more glass. Gonna have to smell some more. Also, thank you, Fitted Grunt, uh, Noroxima, Omega, DC Gaming, or something like that. And also, Cam Deman, and a few others. Thank you so much for the follows. Welcome to the silence. I hope you're doing great tonight. Uh, we got Iron Man 756 with a follow as well. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I need to get some packed ice as well. Thank you for reminding me of that. We know where to get the packed ice at. Also, I might just need to destroy some of the existing build to get the ice back. Is that... No, I'm just seeing things. Light blue, light blue. Mm, packed ice. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we can destroy this upper low upper row of ice right here. Make an ice farm. I have one on the channel. It should still work fine. Uh, the ice mechanics have changed slightly, but it's pretty all right. But yeah, uh, for the server, we just go ahead and, like, farm ice in the icebergs. It's not really that big of a deal. We demand a creeper farm. I know! Tuesday. Tuesday, there should be a mob farm out of some kind. Tuesday. That is the day that you need to wait for. And then all your wishes will be granted. Basically, that's all there is to it. <laughs> uh, if you watch the latest Bug Rock, I kind of mentioned that. The video that just released today, actually. Which, by the way, you should totally watch that video because it like just released today. And it's like brand new, so you should like go watch it. Yeah, because it's like a new video. And it's one that you should probably go watch. Yeah. We got True Pat with a host. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good tonight. We also got uh, Dudley Doodle Dude, Mr. Gaming Guy UK, and V Gase. Thank you so much for the follows, everyone. Okay, uh, I need to put in the ice for this row. And then I guess I don't even need to put in blocks at this layer, like, temporarily. I can just put in the sponges, and that'll clear out everything. You know, put the blocks at this layer right here. I'll just use the sponges. That'll be much quicker. Tuesday is the day of the week that your schoolwork begins. Well, hopefully you enjoy it. Learning is always a good thing. We want a dog farm. Mm, no. Just no. <laughs> that is my only response. Just no. That's bad. You don't really want that. 
You're just saying that you want that. But then when you get it, you're gonna be like, eh, not really. <laughs> My creeper farm doesn't work for you and you don't know why? Oh, probably because I don't have a creeper farm. I mean, I technically have one on the channel that's like three years old for Legacy Console Edition. And if you build that, well, yeah. Not much I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> I could just place the sponges in the nether to dry them, but that takes too much effort. Uh, by the way, we gotta go back to the base and do that whole thing. Get the get the glass, dye the glass, get the correct dyes for the glass, put it into the crafting table, dye it. Yeah, it's a whole it's a whole conundrum. Anyway. Is the villager unlink bug fixed? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't seen anything about that in the change logs recently. I've been staying pretty up to date on all that. Whoop. Uh, can we get a timeout for Vidbot? Because that thing's spammy. I can never find my way out of that nether portal. It's literally a mob farm. Literally a mob farm. Did you see how many mobs were in that kill chamber? None of those were guardians. <laughs> Not a single one of those was a guardian. And it's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, what have you guys been up to today? Have you done anything fun at all? What day is it? It's Saturday, so it is the weekend after all. Hopefully you've done something enjoyable with your time in the weekends. Weekends are made for enjoying. Okay, how much sand do we have? Ooh, nothing much actually. Okay, well I guess we might have to go to the desert. <laughs> Not that I really want to do that, but you know, here we are. Yet again. On our own. With no sand. <laughs> Ridiculous. How does this keep happening to us? It's not like we use a bunch of glass for projects or anything. Do we have the cyan? We have nine cyan. Okay, we got a little bit of the, the cactus. That's decent. We actually have more cactus than we have bone meal. Fascinating. That doesn't happen very often. Let's go grab a couple more stacks of cactus. We'll smut that down. You've been doing some TNT netherite mining for the morning? Very nice. That's always fun. You're building a mountain and watching Godzilla. Mmm. <laughs> that sounds really good, actually. I'm mildly intrigued by the new Kong vs. Godzilla. Just barely mildly. I watched the trailer and it's just so dumb looking, but also it's big monkey be beating up big lizard and lizard shoot laser and monkey like, you know, is monkey. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, there's only, there's only so much dumb entertainment you can fit into a movie. So it can't be that bad, right? It's Sunday for you, time traveler, get out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to go smelt down the glass. Oops. We're just waiting on things to smelt, and I haven't even put the things into the furnace yet. This is productive. <laughs> ah, there's no furnace fuel in the furnace. Ah, right. Sunday for you as well. Ah. Chubzilla versus King Chong. Chonk. <laughs> they are kind of chonky. Oh no, there's no fuel for it. Okay, we gotta get some more fuel. I think we got a bunch of kelp blocks though. Also, yeah, the trailer totally alluded to Kong winning. Which means that like probably 
Mothma or whatever. The giant moth creature is going to come out of nowhere and beat them both up. It's going to be like epic rap battles of history whenever they have a president, president versus president. Abraham just flies in on an eagle, mops the floor of both of them. It's going to be like that. It's definitely going to be like that. That's the only plausible solution. Us time traveling Australians are great. That's why you guys are upside down. Time travel, side effects. You gotta keep pressing the button. Deliver the fuel! I should put a lever right here. There's nothing in the upper minecart, so it doesn't keep bouncing back and forth. You just watch Tenet? Oh, I've heard about that movie, actually. I do want to watch that. That sounds fun. Hi, 98. <laughs> that's that's all I'm going to call you. Maybe I'll just call you 9. Just really, really shorten that name. <laughs> okay, did that deliver all the fuel yet? Probably not, knowing this silly thing. Okay, it did. Okay, great. Apparently, it didn't deliver fuel to everything, but I mean, whatever. Can I just have my glass back? Thank you. A giant zombie pig man will show up and beat him up both. Yeah, beat him both up. That sounds about right. I totally like have a cameo in that movie. Is it done? It's not done yet. I just want the glass. That's all I want. Okay, we're done. Moving on. What you doing? Right now, we are just getting a few more materials that we need for the Guardian Farm. We needed more glass, and now we have acquired glass, and we're about to head back over to the Guardian Farm. We might have to go get some more sand, though. We're gonna take some kelp blocks over there for the smelty smelt of items. And otherwise, I think we're done here at the base. Unless there's some naming items that we want to do. There's no weird flexes, so what kind of naming items do we got? Name an item. Name Eternal Donnie. Very nice. <laughs> we do have to name a Sponge Patrick. Because you guys just hate SpongeBob. Thank you, Sloth Lives Matter, for the Patrick Sponge. And then we also got a, uh... Wasn't there a Spongebob in here somewhere? No, there wasn't. <laughs> yeah, so right now the collection area of Hopper Minecarts is offset to the southeasterly direction, I believe. And therefore, it can grab items that it normally shouldn't be able to. Uh, so like in your furnace array, it could grab fuel or smelted items from your smelted items chest cart. Uh, which could really mess up your system. So, yeah. Or sorry, I said that backwards. The hopper mine cart that you use for collecting items from your furnaces, that can pick up fuel from your chest Minecarts. We passed it. So that's why we got kelp blocks in the output of that system. The netherworld blocks. Oh yeah, that's the beacon corruption. It's been there for a while. You should check out the episode on that. <laughs> it's kind of a whole thing. Naming all the shell, Casper's shell. I can do that. Very nice. Oof. Yeah, we'll do that next time we go back to the base. I don't want to make a 256 block rotating furnace. That sounds... Sounds terrible. It sounds like so much piston noises. Many, many pistons. <laughs> it would smell a lot of items though. Let's be honest. It would smell so many items. 
Man, Stanley 2, you've been here the entire time and you haven't been dealing with this mob issue. And look at this, there's just fish flopping around everywhere. This is why you can't be trusted with literally anything. This is why your one and only job in the world is just to stand right there forever. Look at this, you got spiders trying to attack you and everything. Look at this, even zombies trying to get up the stairs. Oh my. Yeah, you can't be trusted at all. You are not my apocalypse buddy. Mm-mm. Apocalypse buddy. Four stacks in a few seconds. That's cool. We are going to have a pretty serious smelting array up here. Uh, one of these days. You can put that into the top. So yeah, at some point we will build ourselves a pretty nice furnace array. But as of now, we don't need that. We don't smell enough items to really require that. Min my pickaxe. Yeah, we'll do that later. Look at that. Shadows. Shadow, shadow, shadow. Okay, let's get the walls installed. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go to the... Uh, we're gonna have to go to the mining desert. It's just gonna have to happen. Okay. Sponges there, sponges there, sponges there. So we're probably gonna need like another six stacks of cyan just to finish this off. Which isn't too bad. I mean, that's pretty all right, all things considered. But we do not have that amount of sand on us. Unless we randomly have it in a shulker box somewhere laying around, which we, we honestly might. We very well might. Just have it laying around in a box. Okay, uh, now we're doing pretty good actually. We, when we remove this layer of slabs, that should allow all the water there to reform into water sources. Uh, as far as I'm aware, we might need to put in some water sources actually. But that should allow it to all reform. And then we don't need to fill in water at that layer. Just kind of use the ocean against itself. Boop, boop. And let's see. Oh, I don't have any food. Of course not. Oh, that's what I meant to grab from the base. I meant to grab some more, like, anything to eat. <laughs> Why'd you get a 30 second unskippable ad? Because Twitch is stupid. Because Twitch is big dumb. They run them just like literally whenever they want, literally any time that they want. And we can't do anything to stop it besides run more ads, which is just the dumbest thing in the world. It's like, wow, yeah, way to put the creators first. Thanks, Twitch. Yay, this is really what we wanted. <laughs> Ask anybody on Twitch that streams on Twitch what they want, and that'll definitely be on the list of things that they want. Definitely not like a better notification system or actually accurate, you know, tools to prevent trolls from showing up in your chat or, you know, you know, a better ban system to ban the device that people are watching on so they can't just make more accounts and more accounts and more accounts or like literally any form of DMCA system to prevent copyrighted music from destroying your channel. You know, no, pre-roll ads, that's definitely what we want. Do I stop the daily streaming tomorrow? Uh, I think we're gonna go a couple days longer because I had to miss a couple days. I've missed three total live streams in the last month. Which honestly isn't too bad. Uh, one of those is just because I did an all-nighter to attempt to reset, reset my sleep schedule. Which clearly worked very well. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm just gonna grab a little bit more fish so I don't completely starve. And then we'll be on. Twitch, so what you're telling me is you want stories. Yeah, definitely. Um, we need ice. Hmm, I should have removed that stone before removing all the water. That's what I should have done. That's fine. We'll, we'll fix it. We'll fix our process by the time we do the next one. But this should be pretty easy to fix, I believe. So all we got to do is put ice along this row to get water sources here. And then we'll put ice along this row as well to get water sources there. Uh, but before we do that, we are going to let this upper water flow. Yeah, so I'm just trying to think about how to manipulate the water physics here. We need to remove those walls, let the water flow properly, and then remove the slabs, and then break the ice. Breaking the ice goes last in this situation. Uh, you know, typically it goes first when you're meeting somebody. Get a nice icebreaker, but no, it goes last. Because logic. But yeah, that's how we want the water to function, so... That's how it should be? Cool. And I'm gonna make Silent 2 turn on the Guardian Farm. Because we need to repair this pickaxe. Uh, look how that water is like not flowing how it should, and sometimes it's flowing too far. Hmm. So that is due to this flowing a bit too far. We can fix that pretty easily just by doing this. I believe that should fix it. Right? Uh, it's not fixed right there because of that block. <laughs> Look how many fish are in there. <laughs> Icebreaker mints. Mm. And then right here, it's not really working because reasons. There you go. Okay, so that is everything for that. Let's go ahead and do that on the other side. So we gotta remove the bottom first, is what we've learned. Keep an eye on that pickaxe, make sure we don't kill it! That'd be bad. Don't wanna kill the pickaxe. Okay. That should flow basically all the way to the edge, but not quite, and then we break the upper block, and... Place a block there? There we go. For some reason, it doesn't do it on the edges, but it does it in the middles. Yeah, it's weird. Water physics, am I right? It doesn't make literally any sense ever. <laughs> but somehow I do understand it. For some reason, I also just like really enjoy doing water streams. Like water streams are just fun. And as you can see, I'm kind of good at manipulating them as well. I don't know, I just like them, they're fun. Okay, let's go repair this pickaxe. I know it's giving you all anxiety attacks. Also, fluid dynamics. Yeah, fluid dynamics. Bad. Also, you said build a base in the chat. And this... This, uh... This is our base. This is the base. <laughs> I'm one step ahead of you, man. <laughs> Don't cross the streams. Oh, no, it's gonna explode. That'd be bad. Speaking of water, man, I am thirsty. Y'all should drink some water too. Decomposing rats, thank you so much for the follow. We got Beth, Unlucky Chalk, Gamer God, Alpha Wolf, Daniel Hudson, O5, Murphy. We got Rick, Rick's David, and a couple others with the follows. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Welcome to the Soylents. Huh. 
How I get it? Water streams. Ah, yes, yes. Mmm, solid water. Yes, yes. Oh, it's still going towards this guy. Whoops. So as soon as he walks forward, massive amount of experience. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Fully repair that pickaxe. Anxiety zero. Anxiety zero. While we're here, may as well repair these dudes. And how are we doing on storage? Uh, we're pretty good, actually. I gotta let all the fishies be free. Be free! We got so many guardian heads. <laughs> okay, uh, Soylent 2, your one job is yet again to go stand back there. So thank you for doing that. Nope, nope, stand back there. Yep, that's right. Right there. Basically just gain all the rewards from this farm. Yeah, that's right. He's at 336 levels. We're actually nearly catching up with him. This is this is good. I like that we're nearly catching up. He's not allowed to be ahead of me. Any mobs down there? Ooh, just a couple. Yeah, that's our second account. Uh, our camera slash AFK account. It's very convenient to have. Okay, so is all this working properly as it should? It looks like all the water is flowed over the buttons, which is exactly what you want. Uh, now we need to remove the slabs. And then break the ice with the fortune pick. And that should cause all of the ice to turn into water sources. And due to our L-shaped layout, that should cause the entire area across the top here, right where these slabs are, to turn back into water sources. Now, because we used the sponges on top of the slabs, they became unwaterlogged. So that's why we gotta put this ice back in there. Second account was made by scientists. It's no different than Killer Drone, really. I mean, Killer Drone was made in an evil lab. By means Loy and Lightning and Armor Stands and Totems and Pufferfish. Oh man. It was good times. <laughs> Good times indeed. Uh, the second account is on my laptop. Whereas I'm playing on my main computer. By the way, these little lasers from the Guardians, look how they're causing bubbles. That kind of makes me think that the lasers themselves are entities. Because, like, they're making bubbles when they probably shouldn't be. Because if that was just, like, a particle effect, it wouldn't be making bubbles. You binge season one and two, time for zero, season zero? Oh, very nice. Yeah, some fun times across the whole series. It's honestly, like, we've had a lot of good quirky moments. Definitely not biased or anything. It's an alternate universe Soylent. Yeah. So the lasers caused lag. They were causing like a little bit of lag when we had like five or six of these dudes shooting at us. Okay, so look at this. So all the items are floating right here at this layer. That's because this is all downwards of flowing water. So as soon as we go ahead and break this line... Okay, not much is happening. Right, right, right. Not much is happening. But now that we're over here, let's go ahead and break all of this. And then all of those items are going to start floating up to the surface. And they should all go directly into the water stream. Uh, basically where we're standing. Yep, all of them items are floating. And as you can see, many, many stone bricks into, or stone slabs, into the place. Cool, so this is now ready for another harvest. Uh, some of the slabs, of course, went underneath the thing, and that's just a fault of the lack of walls. Uh, whoops, that's my actual cooked fish. No, wrong one. <laughs> I 
I know, right? It, it, it's very weird having 200 people on a live stream. I mean, you kind of get desensitized and normalized to it after a little while. But yeah, imagine like 200 people in one room or like a building. Like, that's a lot of people. And then they're all like standing behind you looking over your shoulder as you're playing Minecraft. Just like, what? No, that doesn't make any sense. And then for some reason they're throwing money at you? Like, what? Hold on. <laughs> Am I dreaming? <laughs> People are watching me play video games and paying me for it? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Something something here is broken. Hold on. Glitch in the matrix. This shouldn't be ex this shouldn't be happening. This is not this is not how this should work. No, this is like what? <laughs> this is <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. None of this makes any sense. <laughs> it's not how this works. <laughs> I know, 100,000 viewers or like anything over a thousand, it just seems crazy. It is crazy. It's insane. <laughs> Watches over your shoulder. Yeah, see Casper? Shoosh. <laughs> also, Shining Floof, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Soylents. We're going to stand here and repair the pickaxe a little bit more. 200 people in one room? Jeez, you haven't been in a situation like that in over a year. Man, I wonder why that is. I can't think of the reason why. This kind of slipped my mind. Imagine what you imagine, but times five. Yeah. I mean, we. This is something that I haven't talked about yet, but we just reached a third of a million subscribers on YouTube. One third of a million. 333,000 subs. We're actually at 334 now. Probably gonna hit 335 tomorrow, because reasons. It's insanity. It's all crazy. You have 200 people plus in a room every Sunday here still? Well, that's not really the good thing. You probably, you probably shouldn't, probably shouldn't be doing that. It's probably, it's probably, it's probably, probably a bad idea. This is a very, very, very large room, in which case, maybe, but yeah, you probably shouldn't be doing that. It's kind of a, kind of a pandemic. Anywho. Uh, so that one's actually done done. We can go ahead and remove the light blue glass. We should look for some sand, because I gotta get more sand smelting down for- Oh, look at this. We do actually have a little bit of sand. Oh, look at this. We got a little bit more. Okay, good. That might just barely be enough. Snad, snad, snad. I need a furnace wall. That's what we need. We need a good old school furnace wall up in here. Furnace. Where are we going to put this furnace wall at? I don't know. We're running out of space. Uh, we're going to put the furnace wall down. Oops, wrong one. Put the furnace wall down here. Good old furnace wall. We're going to make it a couple blocks taller just because we can. Can I get some of this kelp? Uh, let's see. Each one of those blocks does 20. So we don't really need that much. Boop, boop, boop. There's a vast ocean around me, but I'm running out of space. Yeah, duh. That's how that works. Come on. <laughs> Have you not been paying attention? <laughs> There's only so much room in this Minecraft world. And we're, like, running out. Okay, I'm glad that we grabbed this kelp. Because we definitely need it. Do we got more snad? It's probably a little bit around. Ooh, crafting table. Ooh, more crafting tables. Ooh, sand. Ooh, sand. Hmm, crafting table. Mmm. Ooh, sand. I collect crafting tables. We got the finest crafting tables in the world over here. Also, see you later, Silent Fox. Thank you for stopping by the stream. Glad you had a good time. We'll see you hopefully in the next one or sometime soon. I love you. You only have infinite amount of space around me. It looks like there's no more room. Yeah, basically. This world can't fit much room. Just can't. 
It's not it's not much room in this world. Okay. Uh I guess I'll throw that cobblestone in there because I don't waste an item. Oh, maybe that should be a redemption. Waste an item. <laughs> Just throw away something randomly. Did we bring any of the dyes that we need? Hold on, do I have cactus green in here? Tell me I have cactus, I need it. Oh, look at that, I do actually, okay. Well, that's kind of convenient. I legitimately was not expecting that. Huh. I'm pleasantly surprised at myself. We've got some gunpowder in there, this is great. Man, these junk chests are beautiful, I love these guys. There's even another two furnaces in there. Cool, this is going superbly. We need that bone meal though. The bone meal was in that one work. Okay, so it's actually green and lapis, isn't it? Yeah, green and blue for cyan. Okay, boop, there's that. Make the cyan gloss. And then we still got a little bit of this left. We got lots of light blue as well, and we'll definitely still need that at one point or another. Uh, also, we got 80 bitties from Alpha Wolf. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, that is the boost bow. That bug that you found with the, the punch two bow. Yeah, that's been around since 1.9, basically, when the Elytra was added. It was the original way of actually boosting with your Elytra. And as long as you don't have power on your bow or flame, then you basically take no damage. You would need, like, one projectile protection four. And you just basically spam arrows. It was so convenient. And then a couple updates later, I think it was 111, they added the rockets. So now we don't really need boost bows anymore. Also, boost bows is kind of the reason why they removed the infinity mending. Which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, I don't have any dye. No wonder I can't dye anything. <laughs> it's like, uh, where's the crafting recipe for this? Dur -dur -dur. But yeah, it is a pretty fun little bug. Uh, we can actually kind of demonstrate that right now, even. It's been so long since I've done this. Yeah, see? Now, of course, we got flame and power and stuff, but you can get going quite far, quite fast. Uh, it's not really doing that much punch to me. Usually, the punch, too, gives you a lot of momentum. But yeah, it's pretty alright. Exile an item, cast a random item into the nearest pit void. That could be fun. That could be fun indeed. <laughs> so many mobs down there. We really gotta spawn proof that someday. <laughs> okay, so we don't actually need any of this anymore. Already, I think it looks a lot better. Cats are yes. No, no, no. You got that wrong. Toy cat is yes. Only toy cat. He's the only cat that is yes. Uh, we got to remove this layer right here as well. Oh, my God. Come on. There we go. Is it not going to flow to the side? <laughs> it's not. Uh, uh, I, well, that one will. That's kind of silly. Just a wee bit silly. I don't even think we need glass blocks right there, but I'm going to put them there anyway, just for the looks of it. And then we got to wipe out the rest of these, so... Go ahead and break all that. How many toy cat can a toy cat cat if a toy cat can cat cats? As many toy cats as a cat can cat if a toy cat can cat. 
<laughs> Next video should be a silent out of context. Oh my god, you could... With the amount of streams that we've done... Like, you could... You could make up any kind of narrative or story about me that you possibly wanted. The amount of random things I've said, you could take so far out of context... And you could do so many stupid things with. Like, you, you just it wouldn't even take effort to make whatever kind of story about me that you wanted to. And the same goes for any content creator. Like, literally anybody. Anybody on the platform that has more than, like, a couple videos can easily be made into whoever you want with some clever video editing. It's not even clever, it's just like chopping up voice files. And then the even scarier thing is, is that like AI can very easily mimic basically anyone's voice nowadays. And with the amount of hours of content creators' voices that are online, you can feed it so much data and have like a near perfect replica of a content creator's voice. So pretty much anything can be faked. Just about anything. Hello, Pico. How you doing? Also, thank you, uh, Zero, for that. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> World's kind of scary, but it's also kind of, kind of fun as well. There's pros and cons to technology. <laughs> yeah, someone already did that with my voice in Discord. Uh, it didn't work that well, but they didn't feed it that much data. They only fed it like a couple hours, and it was like kind of similar to my voice a little bit. I think that was Brax. <laughs> Who knows what kind of nefarious things he's going to do with that. <laughs> I got to make sure to go get all this glass. Not let the stuff despawn. It's not going to break my water, is it? No, okay, good. Breaking the water is bad. Especially after I just, like, got done building it. So, yeah, okay, good. It still goes over the edge. Beautiful. Let's pick up the glass. Hello, Vale. How you doing? Today's world is a little bit scary. It is indeed. But also, it is a very, very fascinating and fun time to be alive. We are so on the brink of becoming an interplanetary species. Like, we will have people on Mars... <laughs> like, relatively soon-ish. So cool. So, so cool. And then we get there and, like, you know, there's already someone there and you're like, what? Oh, man. Takes all the fun out of it. Leave Mars just because we're salty. <laughs> Redeems despawn for glass. No! Mars 2024? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's possible. They're doing a lot of really good work with their, uh, with their rockets. I forget the name of it. Basically, the big Chungus rocket. <laughs> the Chunky Boy. That one. The one that they just, you know, crashed and burned the other day? Yeah, that one. Yeah, the SN9 and SN10. I'm interested to see how the SN10 is going to go. I'm kind of assuming that one's going to blow up as well. But regardless, they're still going to get a lot of good data from it. So it doesn't really matter, honestly. It's all in the name of, you know, not blowing up rockets. You got to blow up a few times before you can not blow up. If you understand how it blows up, then you can prevent it from doing that. Have I got my doge yet? No, I've not bought my doge coin yet. I did look at the... Hold on, I actually got it pulled up right now. I got my doge coin stonks pulled up. It's literally like one of my active tabs. <laughs> doge coin. Uh, let's see. This is like the... What is this? The monthly? 
Dogecoin. Uh, yeah, we're taking a break from Minecraft. We're talking about Dogecoin now. Uh, this is the one month. So it was at like 0 0.008 cents. And then it peaked at whatever it was, 0 0.7. Uh, it's now at 0 0.5. I kind of wanted to go down to like 0 0.4 and then I'll buy a bunch. Like this is like the amount of fluctuation. It was 0 0.4 and then the same day it was 0 0.6. So got to be careful when and how you buy. But yeah, I'm definitely going to buy a little bit of Dogecoin. <laughs> I might just buy like $50 worth. I don't know. Because it's still like so many Dogecoin. I'm a liar because I'm not silent. Yeah, what's new? <laughs> we all know I'm a terrible person. That's no secret. <laughs> where, where have you been this whole time? <laughs> You got lucky and bought yours at 026. That's pretty good. Uh, 026? It was 004, right? If you got in at 004, you're looking really nice now. The thing is, it's so darn cheap that you kind of have to buy a lot in order to get any real gains out of it. Because if you only buy like 100, then you're only looking at like a few cent profit. So you kind of got to like invest big to uh, win big just because it's so darn cheap can we keep talking about spacex yeah if you want they sent a car into space that was cool still flying around the sun as we speak just because they could you know like hey we make cars hey we make spaceships <laughs> combine together space car <laughs> because like why not Space car, you know. Can't go wrong with space car. Salad 2 is at 344 levels. Okay, I believe that that is all of the light blue replaced with cyan now. And somehow, magically, we didn't break any of the water streams while doing that. And I'm pretty impressed by that because, honestly, I break everything all the time. <laughs> and I really didn't put the kelp farm, like, far down. Like, too far down. Because you can see, now that we've lowered the water, uh, the kelp is actually losing one spot. So these guys over here can grow a spot higher. Because, you know, there's a water source here. And then that one's, like, flowing water. I guess it could grow a block higher, actually. Because that's a water source, too. All of this is flowing water, so they're not going to grow into that. Yeah, look, there's a fish. And he's dying. Haha. <laughs> Mojang should add Elon Musk villager. <laughs> I mean, you know, why not? He could buy Mojang. And be fine. I don't think he's rich enough to buy Microsoft, but like, after all that Dogecoin, he might be. <laughs> oh no, we actually gotta replace all this right here, too. Oopsie. When you die in Minecraft, how much of your XP is lost? I think the maximum you can get back is like seven levels. So if you've got uh, like 10,000 levels and you die, you might get like seven back. Yeah. So basically all of it. So yeah, we, we don't plan on dying. That's why we got the late totems. Uh, it's actually a block over. Okay then, this is looking pretty good already. I definitely like it more lower down into the ocean. Uh, let's go ahead and fly into the air, shall we? Can I stand up here for a moment? Uh, we gotta start work on that iron farm. We're running out of time to work on that tonight. Yeah, left side automatically just looks better. Like, you can tell with the right side that it's just not quite correct. Oh, I don't have a bed next to Silent too. Let's go sleep.
So yeah, you can tell that like the left one just is better in general. It'll look even better once we get the water streams installed on it. And then the right one is just like, something about it is wrong. It's too high up, it's above the ocean level. It doesn't make sense. So yeah, we'll get that. Uh... We'll get that one fixed up probably next stream. I'm glad that we did that. I am glad that we did that. And then from down here, it's going to look a lot better as well. <laughs> Invisible villager. <laughs> Very confusal at first. So yeah, you look over to the left side, you don't see anything on the horizon. You look over to the right side, you're like, what the hell is that tsunami? See you later, Gase. Thank you so much for stopping by the stream. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you sometime in the next one, I hope. Hey, look at that. Skeletons. They're spooky and they're scary and they're sending shivers down my spine. Ow. Ow. Can you please die? I do not like you. <laughs> Tsunami. That cake is the favorite part of your base. I always want to try and eat it. I've tried to eat it like five times, but I never have hunger. It's still from the R. It's probably going to stay there like the whole season. Because why not? Okay. Can we throw some building materials into here? We got a bunch of light blue now. Uh, that's good. We'll use that for the rest of the base. And then we got all this other glass. Perfect. We'll use that for some things. You know, this random trap, I don't really want any of that. I don't really want any of that either. Yeah. We're running out of storage again, by the way. It's currently 3 a.m. for you. Jeez. Hopefully you can fall asleep soon. I'm not going to lie, though. Watching the live stream, probably not going to help you fall asleep. Just saying. But hi, I hope you're doing well otherwise. Okay, so we want uh, placeholder blocks. We also want beds. And we want to grab our workstations. Do we have placeholder blocks? Give me some stone. Put away that hoe. And... We should be good to go, I believe. Oh, iron farms are painstaking. Oh, we also need that bell, actually. The second I leap off the platform, I'm like, oh, I need something. <laughs> Where'd the bell go? Bell, where are you? Very crucial part of finding out who belongs to what village. Bells. Bell, bell, bells. Bells, there you are. Ding, ding. You fell asleep watching an Iskow stream once? That's fair. He just kind of streams whenever, doesn't he? doesn't he? He doesn't really have a schedule. Just like, I'm streaming now! This is what's happening. Don't complain. I ban you. <laughs> mm, how do we want to do this? Oh, there went something. So, in tomorrow's episode, you'll see the gymnastics that I had to do to try and get this one working, but didn't really work out that well. So, with the other one, I knew what the center of the village was, because the bed was marked as a different color, and that was fairly simple. I just needed to, like, this was the center bed of the village. That was what the leader was linked to. So, I broke that bed a few times and slowly got the leader to link over to this bed right here. Which is precisely what we had to do for that one over there to start working. Uh, the northern one. Now, I used some world edit and did some figuring out of things. And found out that this bed right here was also the center of the village. So I broke that one and I tried to get him to link to this one over here. But somewhere in the process something messed up, I suppose. Or maybe I didn't find the correct bed to begin with. And, um... Yeah, it's just not correct. So we're going to rebuild the village.
rebuild the village. Pretty easy. We're just going to break all the beds. Uh, log out, log back in. Relink them to the beds, relink them to the workstations. And that'll be about it. Come on. Go in there. No. Ugh. You're so silly. You silly, silly goose. Come on, go in there. Bye bye. Uh, let's go ahead and break one bed. That way we no longer get any golems. So we're just going to break that one right there. Doesn't really matter. And then I need some storage for these beds. And we're going to make ourselves a little platform above this death hole. Because <laughs> we don't want that getting in our way. Why don't you make a 4x4 drop? Because this farm only has 10 villagers. So it's only ever going to spawn one iron golem at a time. And there's no reason to make a 4x4 drop. Uh, the extra spawn spaces that we get from this is very helpful. And not very helpful, but a little bit helpful. Also, 4x4 four four drops are just like illegal. It's either 2x2 two two or 3x3. Three three. There's no in between. <laughs> Anyway, this is only the second time that we've re had to rebuild these farms, so, you know, nothing new. We're kind of professionals when it comes to uh, rebuilding these iron farms. But yeah, here goes... here goes nothing, I suppose. I think what I'm gonna do is just in case, I'm gonna put a bed out over here. Just to kind of keep that village alive. In case like the village gets destroyed and then the villager is linked to another iron farm. Cause that's a, that's a last minute panic thought that I'm having. But now they're not linking to anything, so whatever. Are they all linked to these? Uh, they might actually still be linked to these. Link to those ones! <laughs> okay, there we go. Although I am still gonna have to destroy the village in general. So I guess it's kind of futile. Uh, let's just... Here's hoping that these villagers don't link up to another iron farm. That's all I'm gonna say. Just, let's just hope that that doesn't happen. Can we just can we just get some hopes in the chat? Just a little bit of hope. That's all we need. Also, we're going to go grab ourselves a colored bed. That way we can tell which one is the first bed in the village. And that'll really help us as well. We're going to use yellow. Yellow's a nice color. Wee. A little bit of hope. Outrage! <laughs> you step away for a couple minutes and silence talking, taking down his iron farm again? Yeah, yeah. Are you surprised? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Zero surprises are happening. Zero surprises. Okay. Another day, another iron farm. <laughs> oh, basically. Okay, here goes. Absolute nothingness. Yeah, they all just link to another one. See all them green particles? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, log out of there. Uh, turn off the guardian farm. Log out of there. What's wrong with the farm? Uh, the center of the village is offset in the wrong direction, and therefore we are not getting iron golems from the AFK spot. 
Joints over. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered if they were loaded or not, because they do that anyway. They're just dumb like that. Because, you know, they're idiots. <laughs> also, there was plenty of time for you to suggest that before we did that, James. So, you know, your hindsight is just as powerful as my own. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Just saying, you know. <laughs> okay, last thing we need is to break two of these workstations at once and have all the villagers spill out and go falling down into the ocean. That would be hilarious. And that would be the end of the live stream. <laughs> What workstations are they? Oh, okay, so one did link to this bed. I guess if they were, if we remove their water, they would unlink from the beds, actually. <laughs> My job here is, isn't to give good suggestions during a time when they're useful. My job here is to heckle you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if we were on Discord, I'd pin that. Because, yeah, that's pretty accurate. That would be the most silent thing I could do. You're, you're accurate, yes. That would be the most silent thing I could do. I think we're going to remove the water. Because then they should, in theory, you know, unlink. I would appreciate not swimming, though. Nope. Nope, not what I needed. I could just use a dispenser, but that takes, like, effort. Good luck placing a dispenser in there. It's not gonna happen. Man, Silent 2 always gets attacked by spiders. Like, the AFK spot's kind of secure, but it's, like, got spiders a lot. Am I floating? I'm floating towards the kill chamber. That's fine. Let's turn back on the guarding farm. We need something productive out of this. Uh, okay, well, we're gonna put that back there. So, if we break this, storm clouds, and then they're linking to other beds, uh, we're gonna put this right here, and we should see one link to it eventually. Right now, they're linking to other iron farms, which is gonna break those iron farms as well, because those guys don't have workstations or working. But lucky for us, they are actually kind of unlinking. Let's get our dispenser. We need to get them out of water. Mmm, dispenser. Levior. Bucket. <laughs> if you kill all the villagers, you'll be able to get the water out. Oh my, I never thought about that. Man, you're so smart. I should listen to you guys a lot more. You guys have so many good suggestions. Never would have thought about that. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Or a sponge. Literally had some in my inventory. Didn't think about it at all. <laughs> anyway, we need the dispenser there anyway to, uh, you know, do the thing correct. Uh, let's log out again. And we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep Silent Two logged out. What would I do without you guys? I have no idea. Probably just die. I'd probably forget how to breathe and just like, just die. Probably. I get random realm invites. Tommy Soccer Boy. I don't know. People just invite me to realm sometimes. It doesn't make any sense. I never joined them. But maybe I will one day. Okay, y'all link to anything? Oh, you link into stuff. Oh, no. No, undo that. Undo that. Undo that. Undo that. Undo it. Stop it. Bed. Link. 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 
Link! Spin on the bed there. Link! Don't forget to breathe. <gasps> Thanks. Almost forgot this time. Link! <laughs> Sailed on, no. <laughs> The blood moon rises once again. Uh, did he just link to this that it's not here anymore? That's lame. I need a scared villager remote. I need a dead villager remote. Uh, okay, so this is going to be the beginning of the village. Uh, that is going to be the leader of the village that linked up to this guy. Uh, all of them there dudes should unlink from all of those other things, I believe. If we put down this bell, uh, let me get the silent two on. I'm guessing they're going to be linked to that iron farm over there. Oh, they could be inkly linking to that one over there. Let's remove the slab. I need to be able to see their ugly, ugly faces. And the disgusting yellow eyes. Okay, Silent 2, get into the air. Do something useful. Ew, emotes? No, I don't want to do that. That's gross. <laughs> There's an emote wheel? <laughs> I didn't even know that existed. Legitimately never use them and hope to never. Because it's just another gross microtransaction. Okay. So, if we place uh, down at the bell... Not a single one here got particles, and not a single one at the north one got particles either. So the south one, whoops, sound two fell out of the air. Uh, so the south one is where these guys are linking to. Okay, get to now. Yeah, I'm currently working on upgrading the PC. I have a 5900X in the mail sometime soon, and I'm trying to get a 3080 uh, Asus Tough. I just had a 3090, but I returned it because it's much too expensive. But yeah, things are impossible to buy right now. Also, I'm keeping my 64 gigs of RAM. How do you think I have so many Chrome tabs? <laughs> Gotta keep that stuff for Chrome. <laughs> did anyone get the storm clouds from that? I don't think they did. Yeah, so every single guy in the southern farm, that one got particles. Not a single one here got particles. This is still linked to a villager, right? Oh, I fell down. Either way, that's still linked to the south farm. <sighs> Villagers. So that villager linked to probably a bed in the south iron farm as well. Why are villagers so dumb? You know, on Java, you can just like put a couple villagers in a zombie and bam, thousands and thousands and thousands of iron. But now on Bedrock Edition, we have to suffer. Suffer. Why am I here? Just to suffer. You have 90 Chrome tabs on your iPad? Must be like a $3,000 iPad. Actually, it probably is knowing Apple. <laughs> I refuse to move the villagers. Oh my god, damn it. <laughs> I guess I'm moving the villagers. <laughs> tell me. Oh no, I was just about to say, please tell me none of them fell into the ocean. <laughs> the moment I look back. One falls into the- No! Get out of there! Stop falling into the ocean, you idiots! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think stream's over. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Geronimo! I'm pretty sure they drowned. <laughs> I hate I'm head out. Oh, <laughs> uh, god damn it. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> uh, even Leroy Jenkins agrees. Village was just the damned worst. Yeah, so I think one of them died. Because I know two. Oh no, he's over there. Why are you going over there? No! No! Stop it! Where's my boat? I require a boat. Oh my god, they pathfind so far away. Get into the boat! Ugh. Every villager does owe me my owe me their life for not murdering them. You're you're truly correct. As you can see where they're linked to now. Oh, shut up. Oh my god. Somebody clip that, please, if you haven't already. I assume a couple people did, but yeah. That whole thing is such a mess. My god. See, this is why Liara built the villager training hall. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, oh, guardian farm's not on, okay. Oh my god. Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna take some of these and uh, we're just gonna... Yeah, I'm unleashing the boat. I mean, conveniently, we got this thing. You're still working on the 12 stack and you've been working on it for two weeks? Ouch. Pretty sure that's not gonna work. No, we gotta get them off of water. Oh my god. Shut up! I hate you! All of you! You're all terrible. Die, wandering trader. He's stupid. Okay, let's see. I shouldn't build out a workstation. That's a bad idea. Do you think that village is gonna drown? He probably will, with my luck. Mm, okay, let's get those villagers out of here. Uh, but not like that. Kind of like anti that, actually. Because like I need to place some blocks around this so that they're dry water. Uh, maybe what I can do is just do that and then... Boop, boop. And then this again. And then that. There we go. Okay. The villagers drown, they can't escape. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Can't escape if they drown. Let's see how this works. Water's probably gonna push them down. Or they're just gonna drown. This actually works pretty well. Uh, gotta move them to the side so they actually don't drown. No! Oh my god. Well, I guess they're not gonna escape because they're just gonna... They're just gonna both die. All right. <laughs> Either of them survive? I only saw one hit the ground. What happened to the second one? <laughs> they won't be missed. No, they really won't. They really won't, let's be honest. Where did the second one go? Honestly, I didn't I didn't see what happened to the second one. Did he like fall behind the water and I didn't see him or something? Like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well then. 
Foxy, can we revert the server to the latest save? No, that would actually undo like the entire stream. I think we only do daily backups. <laughs> we need like hourly backups. Like we need to, we need backups every 10 minutes when I'm on the server. Just write a function, if silent, online, run backup every second. They will forever be silent. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna break that block because that's just asking for more villagers to fall out. <sighs> okay, well, I guess, you know, we can, uh... So, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Well, let's get you in the center with the rest of them, because, you know, why not? And then we'll go ahead and put some blocks there, there, and there. And then we'll put some blocks there. And over there, and anywhere else that we can, just to keep these guys from glitching out, I suppose. Yeah, why not? Apparently, they did not want to be in prison for the rest of their lives. I swear. Okay, um, so we've made a royal mess of this, haven't we? I mean, I'm usually pretty good at the derps, but like, wow. That's taken this from a easy, simple 20 minute project to a five hour project <laughs> in the course of a second. God damn it. Get out of here, trading it. Don't go. I hate, no, go. Uh, don't want that, don't want that. Are they even like. Uh, where's Silence? He's still at the South Iron Farm. All the guys over there are unlinked from that. These guys are linking to something. I don't know what. Nothing good. Bleh. Okay, let's just get them to link to something. Anything at all. Just like, make a village. Oh yeah, I do need to give them food actually. We're gonna have to go back to the villager trading hall, get some of that bread. So they can get, um... <laughs> So they can make another couple babies. Link to the village. Plez? No, they're not gonna do it. Okay, let's place down the the bell and see where that links to. I'm imagining it's probably gonna link to the uh, south one. Yeah, uh, one of these guys, and then the south, and two of these guys. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and unload the southern farm. Usually it doesn't really make any difference, but let's try that. It's amazing how villagers work every single time exactly how you want them to. I know, right? Those villagers are in danger. I might just call it good and say, hey, you know what? We're keeping three iron farms on this server. Three iron farms! Uh, the bell tells you what village villagers are part of. So if you place it down uh, in a village, all the villagers that are in that village will link to that bell. So it's an easy way of telling if you have two villages or not. Because if you place down a bell and only half of your villagers link to it, then you know that the other half are in a different village. Uh, extremely convenient for this here project. Especially when all these silly fools are being silly and fully. And so fully. Okay, log out. I'm gonna go ahead and log out on the silent 2 as well. But of course you log back in, not in the spectator mode, so you just fall to your death. Iron Farm is a never ending project. I uh, Three out of four of them are done. I fixed one of them today, and then I very, 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 very much broke another. Yeah. Hi. Oh, it's raining now. Who would have thunk it? 
Please link to the bed. I guess if it doesn't link to anyone, that means there's no village. We might need to go out much further for uh, this to link properly. Because they have like a pretty far detection range. So, but if those ones are inside, that's fine. They should be able to link to this bed. Even if it's outside of their current village. Hopefully. I don't know, let's just do some bed spam and see what happens. <laughs> Can't go wrong, honestly. Is the water keeping them from linking? Possibly. Mm, great, well now that they're not in water, we need to make sure this thing is properly lit up. We don't want no zombies in here. By properly lit up, I mean torch spammed. Because that's the only way to properly light up anything on this game. Jeez. Hello, decoy. How you doing? Okay. Let's grab some more beds. This is really quite very silly now, and uh, that's really all I have to say on the matter, is that much silliness, many, many sad. Let's place down the bell again as well, just see what happens. Also, Solitude, can you just like get out of here? You're being dumb. Clogging up the one highway that we got. Just get an aerial view and see who links to what. Okay, link to a bed! Three iron farms, take it or leave it. <laughs> uh, are you saying I should go tear down the other three? <laughs> Cause I'll do it, I've already done it once. <laughs> Don't put anything past me. Uh, we might need to go further to the right with these beds actually. So dumb. <laughs> oh, why are village mechanics so stupid? Seriously, so much simpler on Java Edition. You literally just zombie villager, bam, done. Instant iron for 3,000 years. You don't need to mess with any of this crap. Four iron farms, take it or leave it. I'm taking it, it's mine. This doesn't even link to anybody, so it's not even in a village. Sadness. World's smallest, smallest violin. Okay, well, those guys aren't linking, meaning that um, they're not in a village to be able to link to it. There's no other beds in this area, or bells in this area, so they shouldn't be able to be linked to one already. All this just to get like 400 iron an hour, if that. Meanwhile, Java farms get like thousands. And takes like one twentieth of the effort. Oh, you need to get a villager. <laughs> like, no. Oh, you need to get like two villagers and a zombie. Oh, it's so hard to move a zombie. Have you tried bedrock edition iron farms? <sighs> yeah. Mild, mild rage quit. But that's not doing anything. Hmm. Okay, well, let's destroy all the things. Log out again and see how, uh, 
how fate treats us. That explains the slight frustration. Only oh, slart! <laughs> no iron farms. Take it or leave it. Oh, sadness. <laughs> There's no frustration here. Just extreme rage! Okay, silent two. Go off to the end. Not off of the end. Go off down to the end. He completely fell off the platform. Log out again. Let's see what happens. Salty silent. Mm hmm. Damn right. We got a salty fish emote for this exact reason. Link. 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 They don't link at all. They are so dumb. They don't know how to do anything because they are so dumb. I'm gonna go find some wheat and make some bread. And then I'm gonna throw it at their face really, really hard and it's gonna make them cry because they were so dumb. And then they'll probably like try and build a house out of it because they don't realize that you're supposed to eat bread because that's how dumb they are. But they're smart enough to build a house and spawn golems somehow. 18 bread, that's not gonna be enough. Also, exactly how many bread do you need to get baby villagers? Furthermore, if we, beat a, if we breed a baby right now, it's just gonna fall into lava, so we shouldn't do that. I need to, <laughs> I need to name a tool Link after this, this live stream. Do they need air gaps overhead? I don't think so. Be kind of silly if they did. But you know, we are talking about villagers here. <laughs> so, literally anything is possible. Villagers, the musical. Yes. Okay. Just breaking that one block, just completely, just that one stupid block right there. I was just trying to see the villagers a little bit better so we could possibly see if they were linking to anything. Just that one block completely ruined the entire thing. Just murder them all. I think I need to move them all far away and then walk the village in. Java turtle egg mechanics. No, they, we don't have anything nice. I'm not sure if you guys caught the memo. We play on Bedrock Edition, therefore we have all of the bugs, all of the lag, all of the issues, all of the least quality control, all of the microtransactions, all of the least intuitive UI, and all of the, basically all of them. Yeah, it's very good. Much, much good. <laughs> yes. Link! Okay, well. They're stubborn, but I'm more stubborn. So, that's fine. Uh, we're probably gonna have to move all of these villagers via minecarts again somewhere out to, like, here, and then just kind of leave them here for a while, let them naturally unlink from everything, and then put down another bed. That'll be the leader's bed. We put down another bed. That'll be the creation of the village. Then we walk that uh, village in towards the center during the day and then we can finally get that village center properly where it should be uh then we put down the rest of the beds for the rest of the villagers get the villagers into the cell put the water back at their feet so they don't unlink link up the workstations tear down all this crap rebuild all this crap profit yay well i guess i got content for tomorrow's live stream <laughs> Basically, that's uh, that's where we're at. That's where we be. 
You think they need to see the bed? I'm sure that they can see those beds all the way over there, 90 something blocks away. I'm sure they can see those. But yeah, pretty much anything's worth trying. Anyway, so we gonna go ahead and end this live stream right here. Stick around though, we are gonna raid someone at the end of today's live stream as we always do. Thank you everyone so much for the amazing support tonight. You guys have been incredible. I hope you have greatly enjoyed the live stream. Thank you to all of our last minute follows. Thorson, Shy Girl, Niffler Named, Badman, Visual Plays, Sapphire, Caver, uh, Lufaz, Dentire, Monol, Anthony, uh, not Kyle. We also got Forward Blowlet, Ross Barkley, Canty Potter, and Giovanni. Thank you all so much for the follows. Massive thank you to Casper for the large amounts of bits and gifted subs. Thank you to James for the subs and the biddies. I'm not sure if there's subs, but there was biddies. We got Minus with subs and Sires with subs and Minus with more subs and Casper of subs. It's just everybody with the subs tonight. You guys are insane. Uh, the level 5 hype train was kind of crazy. If you do enjoy the content, make sure to drop a follow on the stream. There's other places that you can catch our content too. And we're going to end tonight by raiding... Uh, maybe the Bowtie Daniels. Why not? He's playing some Minecraft. And we're going to go hang out with him because he's got bow ties, And bow ties are cool. Let me get a host lined up for him as well. And I'll see you guys over there in his live stream. Have a good one, everyone. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow for actually fixing this stupid, ugly garbage. And then there was silence.